Well, Eric Ten Hag is gonna hate to give us an update on to the Marcus Rashford injury that he sustained towards the end of Everton yesterday that saw United beat Everton by two goals to nil and he really created an assist for Anton Martial, something that we want Rashford to add more to his game of really creating assists. Welcome to United Matters channel. We are talking a little bit of no hurricane bidding war because a second team that was really interested in signing him has said we are not going to go in for bidding war as with Manchester United and obviously Ten Hag is gonna hate really hail his players that came off the bench and won him the game of Everton comfortably yesterday at the fortress of Old Trafford. Smash the like button, comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time and ever to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Now today is really another beautiful decent day the Lord has really gonna hate to make. I've come in late because you know it's Easter Sunday and obviously had to go in through and really have some lunch <laughs> with our families and I'm back as I watch the game of Liverpool versus Arsenal and then I decided that let me not really forget my 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 fans that are really so much royal to me and I said I have to go ahead and really give you something now Eric Ten Hag has thrown in something about the Marcus Rashford injury update he has told us that <clears throat> we have to wait it does it doesn't look well once again it's due to the schedule we've pr we have to protect our players, tells BT Sport. You can't play three games in six days. That's what Eric Ten Hag really had to say about, about this beautiful game of football. And obviously, things are really going on to do the needful as the team of Manchester United to come through and obviously win this beautiful game of football. And what Ten Hag is saying is right, that you can't play three games in six days. And what are those three games? We played on Sunday against Newcastle, right? On Wednesday, we played against Brentford and on Saturday we played against a team called we played up we played against a team called Everton that we beat by two goals to nil and he's right he asked why didn't they really put this fixture on why didn't they really put this fixture on now um, uh -huh. is it sa Saturday did did he say Saturday or Sunday yes he said why didn't they really put this fixture on to Sunday if they really wanted us to go ahead and really do the need for the game of football. But Marcus Rashford walked off the field of play yesterday as you saw him like that and we don't know what's going to come out of the scan. We need to wait for some... Now there are 24 hours left, you know? It's always 24 hours because that injury always <clears throat> is really went ahead to be diagonized in only 48 hours. Meaning that by Tuesday, we will be knowing whether Marcus Rashford is going to be available for the game of Manchester United <clears throat> versus Sevilla or not. But it's a grown injury and it looked like it was the same injury got against Man City when we beat Man City by three, sorry, by two goals to one at Old Trafford. And all we can call for is simple. <coughs> Marcus Rashford known to really get really injured because him getting injured and missing out like a month of this season will really do him bad. He has, he has gone ahead to score close to play eight games this season and I think he would have gone ahead to take his tally you even 40 if at all he was fit to come in and really play the need for football because he has been playing very many games of Manchester United without Casemiro, Eriksson and Anton Martial. Yet those 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 two or those those three players make him really be so much important into the front line or the final third of the opponent as he plays for Manchester United. So that's the Marcus Rashford for you and obviously that's why we got in for Manchester United but we pray to it that he comes in through and obviously heals very very soon to really find himself in a position of really doing a decent jump for Manchester United and obviously get us to the winning mode as a team of Manchester United and obviously we expect lots of things to come in through that United are really going to go ahead and really bring in to really help us do the required beautiful job as Manchester United and you know he's been the main man poster boy but obviously doing the rest of the work of really scoring in goals Ten Hag has obviously come out on very many occasions and reiterated his words on how Marcus Rashford is really crucial in helping United keep what we call Sorry, in help United win games and he has referred to him as that person that has been reliable on 
uh, that has been reliable on by Manchester United into scoring in goals. But yesterday it was really a beauty that he never scored, put in an assist. Martial scored and Scott McTominay. And that's one of the positives that you would always want to be having at Manchester United every time you're really having a player like Marcus Rashford who really scores in goals and if the likes of Martial comes in through and they start scoring and I think next season will be having a very brilliant start and obviously as we as Ten Hag looks at signing what we call a number nine now Bayern Munich is one of those teams that are interested in Hurricane but they've gone ahead to let us know that they're not going to go into bidding war with Manchester United this story has, this story has been reported by Moloch Mira he has told us that Bayern Munich are reluctant to get involved in a bidding war for Hurricane linked with Manchester United Bayern would be willing to break their transfer record of 70 million pounds to buy hurricane however they are not willing to spend <coughs> they're not willing to spend to spurs more than or in excess of 100 million pounds that is a team of bayern munich for you and i think you know when you look at teams like bayern munich however much they're not willing to spend that amount of money but i believe there is what we call need when you look at the striker that all needed they're all interested in like <coughs> victor oshman victor oshman goes for 100 and uh Victor Oshman goes for 130 million pounds, you know. Goncalo Ramos goes for 100 million pounds. Mm. Dusan Vlahovic, I think he can go for like 80 million pounds. Um, I think Hojeland is one that they can get on a cheap at close to 40 million pounds. I think for him they can get him on a cheap, but I believe it's really something they should go ahead and really embrace that. Nowadays to get a, a center forward who's really in the levels of Lewandowski, you need to go ahead and really spend in money. That's why United are really willing to go on and really spend lots and lots of money as far as the season is concerned. And United are really willing to go on and really spend a lot of money when it comes to really a center forward. And Eric Ten Hag has gone ahead to embrace that and make Hurricane one of his priority targets. But he's also still looking at strikers like Goncalo Ramos, Hojland, and very many others at the club of Atalanta. And uh, Victor Oshman is one of those that that Eric Ten Hag is really interested in signing and we might see United going in for the strikers in the coming future but the bidding war of Hurricane is ruled out because Spurs are saying if United is willing to pay a hundred million pounds all right let them pay that amount of money but for us we are willing to pay 70 million pounds and when you look at Hurricane he's not going to he's not going to renew or extend his contract at Spurs meaning that his stay at Spurs is going to be short-lived and he just wants to find himself get this done and dusted and obviously find himself a club remember in the summer of 2021 Harry Kane found himself in a situation of wanting to go to Manchester City but Spurs called him for a lot of money 130 million pounds they wanted it at once sorry they wanted 150 million pounds and they wanted it at once after City had bought Jack Willish at 100 million pounds they wouldn't extend their pockets at that level that's why they want to go in for cristiano ronaldo a deal that salix ferguson really sabotage and told ronaldo you cannot go to manchester city you should come back to manchester united ronaldo came in through and he never had a very good spell with eric ten hag they fell out and he left so that's why united is looking in for a world-class striker and one of those that is in the mission is obviously a player called hurricane so let's wait and see what is going to happen for united and hurricane because at the stands we are really having lots and lots and lots of noise of united being linked to very many other players that are really strikers in there for you now <clears throat> for hurricane i had forgotten something to tell you about that united has only 80 million pounds to spend on hurricane if i know they're not going to get it then they'll go all and really move elsewhere so it shows you that ban is having 70 united is having 80 are they willing to sell him at that amount of money i don't know but they have no option because if i know they don't sell him then they're going to lose him out on a free that is in the summer then ten hag has gonna hate to really say something good about anton Martial as far as the game of football that we played yesterday was concerned he said Ten Hag on Anton Martial, he said, once again, players coming from the bench, having an impact on scoring goals. We have many substitutes who come on the season and score goals for Manchester United. And, and obviously, we've gone ahead to see very many players coming off the bench and really scoring go goals, like the Ganachos, uh, Fred, <coughs> mm, 
Marcus Rashford has come on the bay of the bench sometimes and really gonna hate to score in goal. So to me, I believe lots of things are really going in through to the need for and really reflect to the club of Manchester United. And I think we are here to do the need for and really win the beautiful game of football. And I think it's always something great and nice that United really goes ahead to have players coming off the bench, but we need Anton Martial fit to come in through and obviously get the game done. And so guys, your thoughts on to no hurricane bidding were expected and Marcus Rashford's injury update coming in from Eric Ten Hag are welcome in the comment section below. Don't don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily and I sign out for now. See you later. Rock and David remains my name and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Bye bye.